Hi, I'm Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar here at HealthyPlace.com. Uh, today I wrote an article about whether people who don't have a mental illness can really ever understand what it's like to have a mental illness. And I posit that yes, it is actually possible for people to understand what it's like to have a mental illness, but only if they really want to and they really work at it. It requires education and reading stories from people who actually do have a mental illness. Consider for a moment what it would be like to be in a wheelchair. I think about this and I think to myself, well, I can understand some of the challenges that that would be. Um, being in a seated position all the time, getting work, your social life, not being at the same height as other people, um, your kitchen design, where you're going to live, etc., etc. I can think of many of those challenges, but I think that I would be missing the big picture of what it is actually like to live in a wheelchair because I don't actually know anyone who's in that situation and I actually haven't gone to the lengths to educate myself and I actually haven't read real stories of people in that scenario. So I think to myself, even though it's a very common condition, even though I wouldn't consider there to be any stigma around it, um, I personally don't think there's anything wrong with it and have no problem. Um, I don't think that I would necessarily really be able to put myself in that position because I haven't done the work. And I think that mental illness is the same. Even if you know someone with a mental illness, it's likely that you don't comprehend what that person is actually going through, what they're living with, what their day-to-day -day reality is like because you can't see it. At least with a wheelchair, I can see that that person is in that particular position, and so at least that gives me some kind of idea of what that person must be living with. With mental illness, you have nothing. You have nothing to see, you have nothing to look at. There's nothing that even gives you an idea of what mania is, or what depression is, or what the symptoms are what kind of activities the person's been doing, and what they're doing in order to appear normal to you at that very moment. But, like I said, I think that if you as a person without a mental illness were to actually do the work, read stories from people who have that illness, and actually really educate yourself, I believe that you could have a notion of what it was really like to live with that illness. And if you did go to that extent and get that education, that would be priceless for the people with a mental illness who are around you. My name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Breaking Bipolar.